Welcome everyone. My name is Andre Kohn and in this talk I'd like to introduce DuckDB Wasm, a database that provides fast analytical processing for the web. This is joint work with Dominic Moritz, Mark Rosfeld, Hannes Mühleisen and Thomas Neumann. First, let's take a look at today's browser-based analytics tools. This chart displays the efficiency of data processing on the x-axis and the latency that users are seeing when interacting with the tool on the y-axis. In the past, these tools had to choose. Either they process data locally in JavaScript, which spares them the round trip over the internet at the cost of a reduced efficiency, as JavaScript is not well equipped for heavy computations. Or they offload analytics to a dedicated remote server that offers an excellent performance but introduces a higher base latency. The reality is that many tools chose the second option and the world just got used to noticeable processing delays when interacting with analytical frontends. We want to change this with DuckDB Wasm, a database that provides a high efficiency for analytical processing in the browser. So what exactly is DuckDB Wasm? DuckDB Wasm is a WebAssembly version of the database DuckDB. We compile DuckDB to three different WebAssembly modules that are roughly 2.2 megabytes large when compressed with Broadly. We then choose the best module based on dynamic browser feature checks and instantiate the module during the download to shadow the module size. DuckDB Wasm runs asynchronously in a web worker so that even complex SQL queries won't block your main event loop. We have a browser agnostic virtual file system that can load data from JavaScript array buffers, the HTML5 file API, or raw HTTP requests. We can read data from the formats JSON, CSV, Parquet, and Arrow IPC streams. We also support efficient JavaScript UDFs that are executed in a vectorized fashion to hide the overhead of JavaScript itself. In this paper, we show the strengths of DuckDB Wasm using the TPCH benchmark, where we outperform existing libraries at multiple scale factors. More precisely, we look at the scale factors 0.01, 0 0.1, 0 .1, and 0 0.5, and we compare the system against the library SQLJS, which is the WebAssembly version of SQLite, Aquero, and Lafield. For Aquero and Lafield, we construct the optimal query plans by hand. We see consistently that once queries get more complex or the data size gets larger, we outperform the competitors by a large margin. We believe that there is untapped potential in the processing capabilities of the clients when optimizing the query execution for a low latency. Let's take a look at a small example. These two SQL queries here first read stock data that is stored in a parquet file and filter it for the data from the last 30 days. Afterwards, the second query reads portfolio data stored in a separate CSV file and joins it with the stock data to compute some aggregates. The figure at the top shows different strategies to execute these queries for users. Traditionally, we would have a server that would read both files from some remote storage on behalf of the clients, compute the results and return them fully aggregated and joined. With DuckDB and DuckDB Wasm, we still have this option, here marked with the number one, but also two new ones. Option three does not involve any database server at all, but instead the client fetches both files and then executes the queries locally. DuckDB Wasm supports reading structured formats like Parquet partially based on SQL predicates. So here you can see in green color that the client only has to download the metadata in the back of the file, plus columns stored in the, in the second row group. Option two shows a hybrid mode in between where the client uses a server to download, filter and aggregate the stock data, but then the client downloads and joins the portfolio locally. We are convinced that DuckDB Wasm changes the way we think about low latency analytics tools. If you want to learn more, you can find the project on GitHub, Observable and NPM, or you can chat with us on Discord. Additionally, we implemented an interactive SQL shell that is accessible at shell.duckdb.org. The shell behaves just like a normal SQL shell in your terminal and runs queries against a local DuckDB database in your browser. You can enter help to get an overview over all commands that are supported. The command features shows the feature profile of the browser and the selected DuckDB version bundle. The command examples lists queries that can be executed without further preparation. These queries scan remote parquet files and compute single aggregates. 
as well as joins. The shell also supports scanning local files, but since we are in a browser, we can't just blindly scan them, but have to register them first using the files add command. Here we add two parquet files storing the relations customer and order of the TPCH benchmark at scale factor 0.1. We also enable the file system statistics for one of the files. We then join the files on the customer key and filter a specific customer by name. If we execute the query again, we see the paging behavior of DuckDB Wasm. We can also visualize this caching using the command files paging customer parquet. Thank you very much.